Okay, this video is going to just be for connecting your PTZ camera to the PTZ controller. <clears throat> uh, this is the exact same PTZ controller and mini PTZ camera that you have. The portion of the pigtail that's going to connect to the back of this controller are these two leads right here, this red and black wire right here. Um, actually the wire behind this red plastic is actually purple and behind the black it looks like it's gray. Um, red is going to be positive, black is going to be negative. Where we're plugging this in is directly to the RS-485 ports right here. Um, it's a little hard to see but on the far left you have an A plus or positive side and the other is a B minus or negative side. It's these first two ports on this green attachment on the back here. All you're going to do <clears throat> is basically loosen these screws from the top. I'm going to try and get as close as possible here so you can actually see this because it is a little confusing. When you tighten these and loosen these up, you'll see that little tray in there basically moving up and down. That's where the wire needs to go, inside of that. If you just push it in the back and try to tighten this down, it won't do anything. So when you're tightening it up, you're actually bringing this tray up and clamping down on the actual wire. So we're going to start with the positive, which is the red one right here with the purple wire. And we're just going to loosen this positive slot up a bit right here and drop that tray down. Wire, if you actually look at it, it's a little hard to show you in the video, but it's actually kind of flat. Um, try to fit it in just like that so it gets the best possible grip on this thing in the most surface area. Uh, you're just going to slide it right into that spot. If you can see that. Just use a small screwdriver and tighten it down. Uh, you don't need to wrench down real hard on it. It'll hold. Um, and I can pull on this enough to basically move the controller so you can see how well that's in there. Loosen up the negative tray. That's the black plastic wire here, black plastic piece with the gray wire. Slip that in right above the tray again. Same deal. And tighten it down. You can see both of those are in there and they're not touching. No issues. That's pretty much it. From there all you're going to do is connect obviously this BNC connector here um, to the cable connecting it to your DVR and power to the power supply. And it's as simple as that. Um, your controller is automatically set up for the defaults on this mini PTZ camera so the second you plug this in and connect it you should be able to start moving it immediately. Um, if you're having trouble getting these wires to f actually stick in there what's happening is you're sticking it underneath this tray as opposed to the top of it and if you're just sticking it in there and trying to tighten it down you'll notice it's just popping in and out like that when it's beneath that tray. So it needs to go above it. Um, Take a look at it, get it in there, tighten it down, and you'll know it's in there good enough when you can basically pull on the back of it and move the controller around with it. Simple as that.